We're gonna keep the intro short and sweet. Welcome back for part 11, and we're gonna go straight into talking to you over here. Ghost. You shouldn't have made him come! I tried to stop him. But he wanted to help. him. Oh, I worked out better than I thought it would. the last of them. The Star Hats are finished. Visa's alone. He's still alive. With the Khan. There's nothing more we can do here. I need to bury my brother. I'll help you. I never meant for this to happen. I'm sorry. I swore I'd give him a good life. Keep him safe. This isn't your fault. It's mine. No. It was the Khan. Rizzo. Every Mongol on this island. Help me kill them all. Help me avenge Taka. There's no reason to leave anymore. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do. Except stay and fight. You should go to my uncle's camp and get some rest. I'll meet you there. Was Taka brave? At the end. He was always brave. Damn. R.I.P. Taka. It's 
pretty cool spot he's got, though. Looks like the last thing is uh, Fata Shimmera and land the attack on Castle Shimmera. Who goes there? I'm Lord Sakai. You must be our reinforcements. That is correct. I am Lord Sadamane Oga, banerman to the Shogun. Welcome to Tsushima. Thank you, Lord Sakai. The Shogun dispatched us the moment we received your message. Your uncle just issued the order. We're to ride to battle, defeat the Khan, and reclaim Castle Shimura from the Mongol invaders. Excellent. Rally your men. I need to check on someone first. I'll wait for you by the northern gate. Then we'll ride to meet your uncle together. Brought in the big guns. As in the Shogun. I honestly did not plan that. So, sorry for how corny that was. Jin, I didn't know you returned. I hope you're not being too hard on them, Lady Masako. They can take it. The Yedikawa peasants are hardier than they look. Stubborn, too. <laughs> More stubborn than you? Not a chance. A week ago, they would have spit on the name Sakai and Arachi. But after what you did in Yedikawa, they're here because of you. Then I won't disappoint them. Nor will I. You hear that those guys inside Azamo Bay? Because of the skies and so forth. Has anyone ever taken Kasashima? Never. The Sakai clan armor is probably my favorite, at least in terms of like aesthetic and the way it looks. But be on the lookout for the next couple episodes, maybe even the next one. We're going to probably take the time to upgrade the armor so we can get his deer antler helmet. And maybe even some of the different paints. Norio, is he training our new recruits? Not quite, my lord. I just finished leading them in meditation. Samurai, the people of Yarikawa... Every spirit needs a moment of quiet before battle to accept the impermanence of life and the possibility of death. Wise words. Will you meditate with me? It would be my honor. Thank you, Norio. May the Buddha watch over you, Lord Sakai. There's no way. Oh Gotta thank Norio for that one. I'm a big fan of meditation. Should all take the time for some self reflection. Crazy to think, though, of a time where there was just a, a large presence of warrior monks. Not entirely sure where I'm going right here. I think I unselected the mission somehow. That's my so, don't know how I did that. Alright. Sorry for the mental delay there. We need to talk to Yuna, and then it's optional that we speak with two more of our allies. Most likely gonna probably skip that part. As fun as that sounds, I'm trying to keep out some of this filler content for you guys. It's time, you know. The samurai are here. Everyone's preparing for battle. Did you get some rest? I couldn't. I'm sorry. Taka should be here. He believed in you. No, so do the people of Yariko. Because you stood up for them when no one else would. 
They're risking their lives for the ghost. I will give my life for the people of Tsushima. And for you. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Take care, you know. I need to meet Lord Oga. I'll see you on the battlefield. Just for me? Has the millet gotten worse? Ah, hey, you're probably just a sick of eating a design. Crazy we had to lose Taka to keep Yuna. Lord Oga, where's my uncle? Waiting for you atop the hill. Clan Oga would be honored to escort you to his post. I'm glad for the company. Alright, so like you can see, we got a long tail ahead of us here with the fate of Tsushima. So grab your popcorn, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to. Uh, we're gonna kick this off, and we're gonna probably, I would imagine, it's gonna take up the bulk of this episode. Better not keep the con waiting. Splendid. We will see. Go to be commended, Lord Sakai. To rescue your uncle, then recruit the Yarikawa outcasts. They may not be trained warriors, but I trust them with my life. Then I will do the same. Is it true the people have a name for you? Ghost. They needed something to believe in after the samurai were defeated. Now the samurai are back. It's time we put these folk tales to bed and reestablish the shogun's law. It's time we save this island and the people who call it home. Politics can wait until the Khan is dead. Of course, not Sakai. Not Shimura! Your nephew has arrived. Jin, up here. In another world, you know, another life, Jin would have been leading this whole renegade of a group of shoguns, I guess. But he becomes a ghost instead. You have done well, Jin. We now have everyone we need to reclaim my castle. I dealt with the Straw Hats, but Ryuzo escaped with the Khan. They wanted me to betray you. You spoke to the Khan? I was captured. If I'd known, I would have marched my entire army to save you. Yuna helped me escape, but her brother, he died with honor. The Khan will pay for his sacrifice. And for all you've endured. Jin, the Shogun formally supports my decision to adopt you. When our island is saved, you will be heir to Clan Shimura. Not as a ghost, but as a samurai. I won't disappoint you, Uncle. Today we ride into battle as Sakai and Shimura. Tomorrow we celebrate victory as father and son. Samurai pride themselves on their honor code, but it also makes them rigid, predictable, easy to break ghost has no limits this makes him dangerous this is our moment Jin the fate of our island hangs on this battle we will take the Khan's head together and personally deliver it to the Shogun warriors of Tsushima today we defeat Koton Khan Retake Castle Shimura and drive the Mongols from our home. Follow Lord Shimura to victory!
Strike them down, Lord Sakai. Keep swinging, Ryo. It's always such a beautiful setting for such a chaotic environment here. Like, look at the waterfalls in the back. As we're about to slaughter people, technically. Again, touching on that warrior monk philosophy. A warrior poet, is I guess what they would call it. That one went right over my head. Oh, shit. That backfired entirely. But now I'm committed. I gotta do it. There we go. Oh, I think I just set off one of my own guys. No, no. Am I the only one out here actually working? I'm covered in mud and everybody else has got clean outfits on. Where's the support? This guy's being obnoxious. Just poke your head. Thank you. I think we got one more up there. Yep, oh, there he is. What's up, buddy? Oh, got lucky. Just not the second one, though. You guys got this over here? Stop the path ahead. We don't want any surprises. Oh, I remember this part. Hope y'all are ready for a a surprise of a scene here. Definitely want to load up. Thank you, thank you. Run home, Japanese dogs! This gate will not open for you! As a warrior with honor, not a monster. It's all they understand. Terror is not the weapon of a samurai. The tower. They'll block our advance. This is your chance, Lord Sakai. Destroy their weapon with honor. I will hold the line and draw their fire. 
I'm coming with you. Stay close. Hold the position. Hold the guy. Take the water. I mean, if we really think about it, let's be honest with ourselves here. Shimmer is sending you off to certain death in a lot of these situations here. So does he just want you to walk in, just accept your fate, that he wants you to go in and clear the way and die, or does he want you to get the job? Practicality obviously kind of wins over in this case, in my opinion. Poison's a little effed up, but... That's more watch action. Remember when you're shooting this, it's kind of like a... You get like a two to three second timer here, so you can spread it. Don't try to obviously focus all of your fire in one particular spot. As I go, I'm pretty much focused all my fire on in the same spot. Foot and mouth. Got it. I see them. There's nothing more we can do here. Let's rejoin the others. You were right to terrorize the Mongols at the gate. Your uncle was wrong. I can't make him understand. We'll die if we don't change. You are the only reason we've made it this far. And everyone knows it. We still have a long way to go. See, Jin gets it. Definitely would die if you don't no, do something different here. Not sometimes you broke them. Khan is losing ground. Can't always rely on a hurricane or a tsunami or bad weather to kind of turn your bad fortune for you. Even though it did happen in real life, but... I think this game plays with that a little bit too, honestly. I mean, imagine watching Jin just fighting here, just no tired, no, like no exhaustion, just relentless, moving at lightning speed. Just fighting this guy and he just changes stances based on how he's looking at. I'm pretty sure there's a guy who made a video about that. If I can uh, find the video, I'll definitely tag him below. So hot. Oh, ho, ho. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he just blasted his own teammate. Ally, I don't know. But that was crazy. Like this, something's wrong. 
I'm pretty sure we can't stop this. Sacrifice. Gather our best soldiers. We will repair the bridge and attack at dawn. No. We've lost too many. If you had listened to me. Enough! There is another way. We will discuss it alone. Currently still racking up them skill points. Don't plan on spending them anytime soon, though. The Mongols are on the defensive. We will strike before they regroup and end this war tomorrow. You sent our men to die. They are soldiers. Their blood is on our hands. I can find a way past the bridge. Poison the enemy. An act of terror. I am trying to save our people. By teaching them to fear us. If you continue down this path, you will be no better than the Mongols. I trained you to fight with honor. Honor died on the beach. The Khan deserves to suffer. You are ruled by your emotion. I sacrificed everything I knew to save our people. I gave them hope. You did nothing. <laughs> I mean, come on, Shimmer. What do you think was gonna happen when you smack a grown ass man? <laughs> My forge is ready. You will like the finish. We'll definitely go ahead and upgrade these. Thank you. Just for combat's sake. Jin. Better. I don't know, maybe as we get to like 10 skill points, we'll go into the skill point tree again, but for now we'll hold off. They're patching the bridge on your uncle's orders. Lord Shimura is determined to see his plan through, no matter how many lives it costs. These people came here to fight for you. How much wolf spain can you find in the next hour? A few handfuls. Talk to the others. Tell them to gather all you can carry. You're going to poison the Mongols. I'll find a way into the castle, then slip it into their drinks. Watch the Khan choke on his own blood. Your uncle's going to find out? I know. Taka was making something for you. I wasn't sure you'd want it, but now... If something happens... It won't. He'd want you to have it. Alright, I spoke a little too soon about coolest outfit in the game. Ghost armor, especially as you upgrade it throughout the game and finish the game. Depending on the story this ending the you choose, we found. Prime. Be enough? I'll make sure it is. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the cover of the game.
So if it looks familiar, that would be why. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to work alongside this bridge. And then we're gonna have to infiltrate their territory since this bridge is completely blown out. And then, uh, like you heard, our goal is to poison them. So we're gonna just piss off Shimmera even more. And the Shogun even more, so... I just completely missed that jump. I think I die more to that thing, or like that kind of situation, than I do from combat in this game. I get the parkour. Sorry about that, guys. I was having a little bit of an internet issue there, so I had to stop the recording for a sec. But we're back. The goal again is we don't want to raise the alarm. We want to roll through. Take out this. Wasn't ready for that. I'm just going to go ahead and go up, honestly. Uh, but try not to get seen. As you can see from the start here, I'm not doing the greatest of jobs. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to not even mess with them. Looks like we got two. We got a brute and an archer is what I see. I didn't see anybody else around the sides here. Okay, we got a brute. Hope the archer doesn't see us here. I honestly got lucky on that one. If I were you guys, I'd probably take the time to see what the other one's doing before just assassinating like I just did there. But it paid off. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, you know? With our goal being not to be seen, I'm going to avoid assassinating anybody. Despite how tempting it is, Michael Jordan hops. We are going to have to take out his archer though because he will see us eventually. Looks like I'm not in the tail here. So wait. Oh. oh, I guess I do actually. You do need to eliminate all these guys too. So keep that in mind. Don't avoid them like I did. Looking like we're gonna, you know, yeah, definitely don't do what I did. Unless you want to, you know, age old saying of if you don't want to do it right the first time, take the time to do it twice. That's poor damn. That was clear. Now look for a way to poison all of them. This makes me sense. Garden path. Light defenses. Plenty of cover. A straw hat. Ryuzo. Of course he's here. They're preparing a feast. I can poison the Khan's fermented milk. Let his army drink the Arag. Then kill any survivors. Fortified defenses. Explosives. My uncle's leading us into a massacre. Now to reach the Arag without raising alarm. Better take the garden path. I broke my leg! Like you see, our goal was, uh... Remain undetected still. We already took out the archer. It's glad that, I'm glad that no one saw him up to this point. But yeah, the goal is, uh... Get through poison their party drink of fermented milk which seems messed up but uh has a deep history obviously uh actually i think that's part of the reason that started cheersing with enemies Ooh. oh that was almost really bad but yeah i think the initial intention was you would cheers your enemy like in times of agreements or 
truce and things like that, and then the goal was that you'd splash one another's drinks into the other, and if there was poison, then you'd be in turn poisoning yourself. So, now to each nothing new here. Poison their drinks. Only difference is our goal is we have to somehow navigate through, you know, 50 plus Mongols undetected. Doesn't say anything about not taking them out, but it does say don't raise the alarm. So if we do need to assassinate, like in this opportunity here, we are going to take that opportunity. Goal is that we just hope none of these guys uh, run a route that would pass that up. But for the most part, I think we can still navigate right over top of these guys, remain undetected, and keep doing our thing. This part, though. Because we got this guy in the bush. We got another guy right behind us. And then... Yeah, I think our best bet is to follow him in tandem as long as this guy's not watching us. Alright, this will give us cover, so now we can actually kind of navigate here comfortably. See what this guy's route is, and then we'll follow and suit with him, and then hopefully we'll be right up on the pot. If this guy ever comes back. It's like he can smell me. I'm just gonna take him out. That was a little too close for comfort. Hopefully with him being out of the light of the, the fiery torch there, he won't be seen. Then this guy gives us his back. That's where they store the milk. Now to add the poison. Oh, that's way too, too close for comfort. Okay, they're all looking the other way. We're gonna go ahead and... Oh, never mind. Nope, they're looking. Oh, he's right there. Shit. Yeah, you didn't see anything. Just... Where's he going? Yeah, I think they smell me. Now he just walks up and gives a little... <laughs> and then walks away. Oh, I got to poison more than one. Okay. I'll say that was pretty uh, melodramatic there. Same thing. Pretty straightforward. It looks like once you get into this little spot, just wait for him to walk away. Poison the milk. You're golden. Not to wait. Inek pasta tuga! I like how it looked like he was just taking a nap behind that uh, stack of logs there. Like there wasn't, you know, a whole army just right behind him. Jin! Where's the Khan? He rode north. Made me stay behind to collect the ghost's head. Then come claim it. No. I could have killed you earlier. Instead, I convinced the Khan to give you a chance. 
He murdered Tucker. And you slaughtered my men. I've lost everything. Except you. We can defeat the Mongols together. After everything you've done! Tell the people I was just by. Send to gain the Khan's trust. They'll believe the ghost. Stop! You are my oldest friend, Ryuzu. Surrender. An answer for your crimes. For both our sakes. I can't. Alright, so similar to when we fought Ryuzo the first time, I'm gonna assume he has the same three to four main combo sets. Where this will probably be an unparryable. Yeah. Anytime you see him start low to the hip, like he just tried to do there, it's always, to my knowledge, going to be an unparryable. We'll start with like a high jabbing strike right here, which is a parryable. Wow, he almost be careful because he can easily take you out there. Uh, but I also remember he's relatively easy to guard break. So in between combo moves, if you're not able to parry some of the moves he does throw at you. Just hold down triangle and throw a guard break at him. Stop me, it will slowly wither down that shield, and then you'll be able to take your shots on him. You broke your but if you are struggling code. with parryables, I would definitely take the you time in these no duels. Choice. That's where you want to be getting good at parry. Failing to do here. There we go. Another one I like to do too is I like to hit the, him with a jabbing strike. Or any guy for that matter that has a really slow wind up. You can hit him with a jabbing strike and it's usually going to be quicker than being a guard break. It'll actually stop them mid move. So, as I said before, we're just going to parry and then every time we get a chance, we're just going to guard break him. Oh, that was a little too slow. So, as you can see right there, anytime he comes up high like that, you can easily just stab him. Do a thrusting move and you're good to go. Oh, 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 oh. That was a smooth carry right there. It's like behind the back. Alright, I'm making this more difficult than I need to. I'm gonna just focus here and get this knocked out. Probably it. Um, oh, it's gonna hold on for one more. Okay. No, oh, there we go. King. The castle is yours. The Khan marches north. We can head him off. You defied me! I did what I had to. For them. Is this how you want to be remembered? He defended us! By spreading fear 
and chaos. We are at war. And you are acting like the enemy. This is not our way. Your way can't save our people. The Shogun will demand a head. But it does not have to be yours. I know she drove you to this. Uncle. Renounce the ghost. You must blame her for this outrage. Tell them. You are Jin Shimura. Loyal servant to the Shogun. My heir. My son. I am not your son. I am the ghost. And you will be judged for it. Find the Khan. What do you want? Lord Shimura asked me to deliver Sake, a reward for helping retake his home. I'm watching the prisoner. He's not going anywhere. Wait too long, and your friends will drink it all. I haven't had anything but water since we got here. Then you deserve it, my lord. Kenji, what are you doing? What does it look like? Let's go! If I run, I won't be able to unite our people against the Khan. I'll never regain my uncle's trust. If you stay, he'll ship you to the Shogun for judgment. The orders just came through. The people need you, Lord Sakai. Yuna needs you. Where is she? Up north, tracking the Khan in the frozen wastes. She has your sword. She's waiting for the ghost. Forgive me, uncle. Find Masako, Norio, and Sensei Ishikawa. Get them to Omi village. Yuna and I will open the pass for you to join us. She's waiting in Kin with your equipment. At the sacred tree. Your horse is at the outer stables. A servant told me about a damaged fence near the gate. You can slip out that way. I'll distract the men outside. But I don't want to be here when they find out you're gone. Thank you, Kenji. Alright, like I said, we we have now pissed off Shimmer and the Shogun. But that's going to go ahead and wrap this episode up, guys. I appreciate you checking in. And I will catch back up with you in part 12.